just want to make uh, make it clear because uh i know i can already imagine that some people across the community might be assuming or speaking of some actions or worries or concerns um i want to make it clear chat that uh there's no out of character spinning at the moment okay i don't want people going around spreading toxicity everything that is done here is an in character decision right i just want to say this one thing chat <sighs> in character tommy's happy out of character like it sucks right um and I'm happy for people to talk about it like in chat and like what happened but uh when people are blooded out of like gangs and stuff there can be a lot of like weird like OOC you know what I mean and people like talk out of pocket so I'm happy for people to talk about what happened you know just keep in mind that uh it's a it's a hate the character but not the creator kind of situation you know what I mean Here we got problems me and you yeah <sighs> Depends what you mean by problems, Kaba. I have a problem with you not wearing your cut. I feel like I haven't it seen you in the last however long it's been. And the only time I see you is by passing. I have a big problem what you did to Dundee. Oh, here we fucking go. Do you, do you know why I do? I don't know. Maybe because the story is that I held up the Prime Minister at gunpoint and took him to the place. Look, I understand what you were doing. And I was told that you wanted to see the old Dundee. Is that true? How can you un the, the dun the, how can you understand Dundee, what I was doing? Let me finish. You were trying to see the old Dundee, the Dundee that everyone's talked about, right? Who told you that? Rusty. What does Rusty know? Is that what you were doing? Was that on your agenda or no? You have no idea. This this is a yes or no question, kebab. It's not. Yes, it is. You've already made your mind up. You haven't heard it from me. I'm the only one who knows. Well, tell me, why did you take our PM? Up to a spot that caused him so much pain and took him years to get over and put a gun to him. Even though it was empty. Is that what this is about? Oh, it's part of it. I well, guy was just about to explain why he took you to the spot and put a gun to you. Trying to enlighten me. Oh, please don't let me stop. Continue. You want me to have the conversation again? I thought you told me it was between us. Sounds like you were going to say it regardless of my presence. presence. No, I wasn't. I didn't get a chance to say shit. Oh, I guess I'll just stand here. Just look, just continue with whatever you're saying and pretend I'm not here. Kaba, you asked if I have a problem and I said yes. And I'm telling you my problem. You told me a lot of- Exactly, brother. What, what, what does this cut mean to you? What does the patch mean to you? Why do you wear it in the first place? When I'm doing club business. Is this not club business? I've been taking time for myself, so no. And you can take as much time for yourself as you want, Kaiba. Just the boys sometimes like to see you around with the cuts on. That's why they're upset, because they, they enjoy seeing you around with the cuts on. Um, I mean, the silence between all of us really does speak volume. I mean, you say that, but Tommy has an issue with it. And I bet he's not the only one. You can't do something like can't that, what? Kaiba. And not expect I consequences. can't take time to myself. Consequences for what? Taking a Putting break? Putting a gun to your PM's head. I guess people keep saying it because that's just how they feel. No one remembers what you do, but they remember how you made them feel, as a man once told me. And I guess once people heard what you did, uh, that's that's just they're holding on to that. You know, he got bought up the other day again. Well, I didn't talk to him about anyone. Bro, a lot of people lost respect for you when you did that, man. Do you expect us to hear about that and go, oh, okay. Oh, well, shrug it off. I have a question, Kaiba. That book, did you write that? All of our weaknesses? Yes or no? Does it matter? Why? <laughs> yes or no, brother? Sounds like you've already made up your mind. I wanted you to hear me out, but now I'm the one being confronted. This is why I haven't been around. Brother, you asked if I have a problem. You can't have it both ways. Do you want me around or not? I have questions that I need answering. I so do I. Okay, well, maybe try answering mine. I asked two yes or no questions, and you haven't even been able to do that. Did you write the book? I think mine's more important, but you know what? Fuck me. Am I welcome to be a part of the B? Are your eyes open right now? No. Hold on one second. Yeah. Okay. Just one? Well, I suck at metagaming things, don't I? I forgot that my audio is routed really weird. This all started because I felt like I was getting cut out. You guys bought everyone a bike except me, but it was more than that. I didn't want my opinion. He's told me why since you were out here like, oh, no, Kaiba doesn't want a bike. If you want me to, if you want to call me out, I would prefer that you just said so. But brother, I had the money in my account to get you a again. Bike. I didn't come here to fight. That's just how I felt. And this is the problem. Every time I've had these conversations, <laughs> it's just explaining how I felt in the moment. It wasn't necessarily a big deal. 
but all this pushback what is this what is happening am i not allowed to feel a certain way i kept it to myself i tried to and then when people asked i told them they weren't happy when they heard the answer so what am i supposed to do i'm essentially being told it's wrong for being me i think it's necessarily wrong for being you i just think people were getting frustrated that we're, we're trying to seek solutions and then uh and then nothing's really happening like we, we, we try to help you you know we try to include you and we're just getting frustrated like we, we want you to ride along with us, you know, but you, but you don't. We try to get you a bike, but then you don't, you know, and like we, we, we try to get you to hang out with us and you don't. And then we like, yo, where are your cuts? And you're like, I don't want to wear them. It's like, bro, what, what's going on? Okay, you were saying a lot of things. You're saying that you guys tried, you guys tried, you guys tried. I don't remember everyone, anyone ever asked to, to jump into the, the bike shit, to hang out with you guys. Brother, we don't have to invite you. Uh, do you think I get invited to this shit? We just fucking go. We just get in the cars and go. You were saying a lot of things. You're saying that you guys tried, you guys tried, you guys tried. I don't remember everyone, anyone ever asking me to, to jump into the, the bike shit to hang out with you guys brother we don't have to invite you uh, do you think i get invited to this shit we just fucking go we just get in the cars and go we don't need an invite we're a club if you want to ride with us you get in the car or a bike and you ride with us i think it's what just one of those situations kaiba where there's a lot of stuff built up and uh the volcano is erupting stuff? well there could be a what little problem there could be a little problems here and there with someone and you're just like you know what everything's fine i'll i'll, I'll push it down and it's fine and then it kind of uh, stops being fun. I'm going to tell you how this came out. I was having a chat with Rusty. Rusty seemed a bit troubled. He had a lot on his mind. So I asked him, I was like, brother. And he's like, I, I'm not supposed, I wasn't supposed to talk about this, but. My understanding, the boys didn't know about this until recently. Why did this come out recently? I don't know. Why did this come out in relation to the bike shit? Because you're the one who bought up the bike shit. The whole club knows, so it absolutely turned into a gossip sesh. Yeah, well, you hear bad news and someone fucking up that big, you want to talk about it, right? So you had a gossip People asking session. what the fuck's going on? I mean, the cat was out of the bag, right? No, you chose to turn it into a gossip sesh. Um, call me when you're at the front of the manor house, yeah? Okay. Do you want me to just stop outside of it or what? Uh, no, you need to be here. All right. Do I need one too? It feels weird to just grab one. Should I have one? Just in case. All right. Well, I'm sure grabbing it right now. Make sure mine's loaded. I stepped up to try and keep the boys motivated, to try and keep the club moving forward while Dundee was gone. But fuck me, right? I must have some crazy kind of power trip. You guys are welcome to do everything yourselves. We talk about the patch that we wear on our backs. One thing that I tried to preach constantly was that we give our brothers the benefit of the doubt, assuming the worst is something we leave for our enemies. When are you going to start that? When the club stops doubting me? I never doubt you, bro. You got these these idiots in your head that convince you of other shit. You got brain rot up there, bro. You got, what are you, schizophrenic? Tommy is literally telling me about how much he's been doubting me. Yeah, we doubt you because you've manifested this shit on yourself. Bro, you got little minions in your head thinking this shit, and then you bring it up, and now you make us think this shit. We never doubted you for a second. That's why you're on force. That's why we wanted you so bad, because we believed in you. But over the past I'm manifesting months, it. Just... Tommy is literally telling me that I'm some on some kind of power trip. I mean, brother, this is this is the impression that we've been slowly been getting over time. And every time we try and tell you no, you keep you keep with that impression. <laughs> you stopped wearing your enforcer cut. Okay, I told you why. Why are you turning into a bad thing? Because it's not your call to make. I didn't make a call. Hey, no yelling. Both of you. It's just an idea. Anything else, Tommy? I don't know why I'm always painted out to be the bad guy. You're not, man. I feel like a lot of this shit is just inside your head. Come with me. Kaba, Tommy, stop wasting your breath. Let's just get to the point. Kaba, I want you to come transfer all the properties to Tommy. I want you to get all your shit that matters to you and get out. I'm done. I'm sick and tired of the complaints and the problems, and it all stemmed from you. You're done. You're gone. It's irreversible. You took me to a cliff. You cut. You kidnapped me. Because if we make you this miserable, man, there's no point you having it. There's no point you being here. I knew there was nothing I could say. There was nothing you could say, man. Let's just go. No last words. No final outings. Nothing you no want to get complaints. off your chest. No more doubts. No more concerns or great ideas from kind of the all-knowing. No more perfect plans or theories to make the most mo money from Mr. Know-it-all over here. No, because it doesn't matter. Not anymore. Couldn't you just say that when you're in the club, bro? You finally worked it out. It don't matter. That's all I was trying to get across, that it don't matter. I tried many times to find a compromise to make you happy. But instead, I feel like it was an impossible chore. That's what you were to me. A chore. That's what you love doing. Chores. You're obsessed with them. I don't care how much money you can make us or how good you are at some things. The way you treated other members of this club, the way you made us all feel. And I'm not an emotional club, but goddamn, man, you sucked the life out of me. You are the visual representation 
of depression. We all believed in you, bro. Every word. We all That's loved why you, we man. Provided you. We all we all cared for you, bro. But it, it's a two-way street, and I definitely felt like I was traveling down on the wrong side. Walking on eggshells. Oh, hold on. Let me cut the bullshit here for a second. That was a while ago. I thought that. But eventually you did become what you feared for a while now i say at least a month and it was definitely definitely solidified when you kidnapped me i was using you the only reason i defended to keep you around was because you were a money maker you were my moonshine bitch you were my bread maker now oh, hold on let me cut the bullshit here for a second that was a while ago i thought that but eventually you did become what you feared for a while now i say at least a month and it was definitely definitely solidified when you kidnapped me i kept you around as a tool that's the only reason i kept you around not because i liked you but because i could use you but my tool has lost its usefulness i have my butt coin i have two new cooks up rising i know everything i need to know so you know where you put old tools in the fucking bin Well, don't just sit there, boys. I'm loyal to this dog. You, you ungrateful, you. I hate you. You depressed sack of shit. All you got was a ripoff of James Kelly. You ugly looking piece of shit. I defended your other, other members and all you were were a waste of my time. Hey, Kelly. Hey, are you busy right now? Uh, a little bit. What's up? I still don't know why he did what he did. Did he tell you why he did what he did? Oh, he always was finding a reason to justify it. Loved you, man. Leave him in the minis pile of blood. Oh, guess he's staying here. Well, he's gone. It's as simple as that. I know Kaiba was good at making money, but the way he treated other members of this club and the way that he, uh, he acted was uh, bringing down morale. He was never happy. He was never satisfied. He never enjoyed being around us. Anyway, I just thought if he was so fucking miserable, we don't need him. I had a chat with Kaiba, just a one-on-one -on -one before Dundee showed up. I had Dundee was there as well, and I was asking him simple yes and no questions. He couldn't even give me that. He wrote the book. It's, I know he wrote the book. Well, I can, we confronted him, and he, I did lie to our faces about that. And that uh, I knew sucks. I knew he wrote I the book. I just wanted a simple yes and no. I can't he remember people's names and faces. That. You expect me to remember the weaknesses of every single person in this group? Please. He lied to our about faces that. every day after he came back from Polito and didn't tell us what he did. Hey, Shag. Hey, I, I just... You know, I just want the phone just to wish you well in your endeavors, my friend. Uh... I can see why you got rid of him now. Bro's annoying as <laughs> Bro, you gotta tell me what happened, D. Come on, you gotta tell me. Was it because he was the most depressing person on yes. earth and never Shang, ever accepted binge? any fault whatsoever? Shang, have you been in my club secretly this whole time? D, I gotta hear the D. When you blood your people out, I don't mind the gossip, you know? You could go ask him, but I mean, it's it's pretty simple. It seems like you already know why. Whatever it is, Shane, beginning. Respectfully, I was sure. It's not. It's none your business. You can probably figure out why. You can go ask him. Okay. okay he, I mean, he, no, he has no, a no, BBMC. Okay. You can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Uh, um, I don't really have anything to say because at one point, you know, he was a brother, and I don't want to. That's right. I don't. I'm not like. <sighs> I. It's not like I'm like. Yay! This happened. Like I think it's. The thing I, is, is like unfortunate. I'm like, I'm like a little upset about it. Yeah. I figure out what was on his mind. I tried to figure it out. Tried. Ultimately, during the conversation, Dundee made the call that uh, well, I'm wasting my breath. Okay, why the fuck are you calling me in an unknown number? Uh, cause I took your advice. Oh God, you killed him, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Who? You know Ghetto Kaiba? I do know Ghetto Kaiba. Yes. You check to see if he's got the BBMC tag. I can do that. Yes. He confirmed if it's there. It. Yes, it's currently on profile. Did you update it? Who? No affiliation. Okay, at least tell me we. At least tell me where I need to go find a body, Bundy. You know where I live. Am I gonna go down there and get shot? Probably not. Probably not. What? I'll shoot you over saving a non-club member. I'm gonna come down there on my own, Dundee. How about that? Okay. So a while ago, you sh you shot me, not giving me any trust. I'm gonna trust you once again and come down there and, and drag a body out on my own. Okay. Can you and I have a face-to-face -face talk? I am not about to do anything dumb. I am not about to put you in cuffs. Considering, I believe I know you've done it. Would you allow me to GSR test you and then leave? And even if it's positive or negative, I will still leave. Sure. Come on down. I'm coming down unarmed, by the way. I ran out of bullets. Uh, another trust exercise, Dundee. Let's see how this one goes. I'll be, I'll be standing exactly where you found it. Oh yeah. Great. Honestly, fantastic. Nothing to you. Uh, long day. I think you know how it is. Yeah. Sorry you have to go through this shit. You're not sorry. I we just want to test. Uh, do what you're going to no. do. 
nobody's perfect. You included. Neither am I. I. I was a very different man a long time ago, and I'm trying to be better. That's why I give everybody a chance, you included. No matter how much you hoard me, I will always give you a chance. I will always try to give you an opportunity. Thank you. What's the point of this? Pop your finger up for me real quick. You know uh, I did it. As, yep. But I think everything should be pursued. And this is also to sort of prove a point to myself. You're negative. That is crazy. Here's the gun with my DNA on it. I'll go run it and put your warrant out for me. Can I ask why? Why, why, why does things like this happen? I don't understand the BBMC all that much. I know you're unhinged crackheads who hate the government, but I, I don't really know why things like this happen. Some people just cause more problems than they solve. You said he's operating? He's currently being operated on, yes. Yeah. Oh! oh. Hello! <clears throat> Kaiba, are you alive? Oh, yeah, talk your shit. Yeah, for some reason. Wait, he left you alive? Damn. What yeah, the f- Still needs me to give him his property. Oh, you're giving him everything that he owns that could be his. Yeah. Hey, but how how did you? I'm sorry to be insensitive and ask this on the phone. Ask it. How do you let this happen again, man? Like, what, like, am I missing something? Like, what was it that bad? I don't know what happened. Paiva is. A you know, you know, down you know this guy like legit cared about you, right? Like as harmonious as he is. You know, you know that I don't, I don't think. He's ever asked me four times if he should kill somebody, ever. Not even like his family. You might, what the f you do? I could tell you, but I don't know if there's any point. I'll mm. see if he's dead. Come on. I know, listen, Kaiba, I know, I know I always joke around when I see you, but you know, I never thought you were as like a, a bad person or anything like that, you know? Maybe not a perfect fit for a gang, but you know, not, not somebody evil. If you ever need anything, okay, just give a call. We can help you out. You know what I mean? Where's Kaiba? Is he in this he's one? He's not back here, guys. Come on, please. Let's see our friend. All right, I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, I understand, but there's doctor, literally not back here. So can you I'm going to be honest here. I need closure, and I need to say something to him. I need closure. Yeah, we need our closure. Can't let anybody back to see him. Sorry. 